the formidable twin turbo Mark IV Supra, the unbeatable Hilux pickup truck, the waffling Toyota Century, or perhaps the million dollar 2000 GT, would come to mind if asked to name Toyota's most significant historical automobiles. The most well known Toyota, though, is a low performance hatchback with pop up lights and a speed warning chime that activates when you go over 64 miles per hour. Now, Toyota built two expensive restaurants at this year's Tokyo Auto Salon, one using liquid hydrogen as its fuel source and another one using a battery system to power the motors. This was done in an effort to preserve the history of the small automobile. Now, these concepts are both based on the AE86, but each of them features a different potential powertrain. Now, since I'm a massive fan of hydrogen, let's start with the hydrogen-powered version first. It's called the AE86 H2 concept and it's based on the Truono body style with pop-up headlights and the iconic two-tone paint scheme. Looking from the outside, this thing looks like a really well-restored stock AE86, but underneath this thing is powered by the fuel of the future. And here is the cool thing, this isn't a fuel cell, this thing is powered by a hydrogen internal combustion engine. In the trunk lies two Mirai sourced hydrogen storage tanks and under the hood there is a 4 banger. Now the 4 cylinder engine in question is the iconic 4 AGE twin cam that powered the original and it is kept in its original form as much as possible but with modified fuel injectors, fuel pipes and spark plugs to meet the specifications of the hydrogen system. Toyota says that when they developed this concept they made sure that the sounds and vibrations stayed present. This means that the car will drive, sound and even feel like the original, which is awesome. But that's not the only car that they brought to the Tokyo Auto Salon in Japan. You see, Toyota is very smart in their approach for the future. When most manufacturers put all their eggs in one basket, Toyota believes that no one option is the only option. So they are building EVs, hydrogen internal combustion engine vehicles, as well as fuel cells, which is really smart in my opinion. Now, the second rest of mod is an EV, but it's an EV with a twist. The AE86 EV concept, which has 11 body and fixed headlights is another AE86 based concept, making its premiere at the Tokyo Auto Salon. Its paint job is almost identical to that of the AE86 H2 concept car, and underneath the paint job comes an intriguing power plant. Power comes from the same motor found in the Tundra Hybrid. The battery is sourced from the plug in Prius, and parts from other Toyota and Lexus production models are used in the battery powered system. The biggest surprise in this EV concept though is its manual transmission and Toyota claims that they had done their best to preserve the car's perfect weight distribution. According to the manufacturer, the automobile combines the strong driving force characteristics of an electric vehicle with the engagement of a three pedal car to create a truly distinctive driving experience. On the inside of these cars, the seats of the cars highlighted two designs' environmental friendliness even further. These chairs have been refurbished using recycled seatbelts and seatbelt pads. They are not new seats. Even the seats are refurbished. Although there are no plans to scale to manufacturing, Toyota has collaborated with a number of aftermarket businesses to make these two prototypes into a reality. This is great. I love it when manufacturers build cars with more than just power in mind. The driving experience is a super important part of what makes us love certain cars. Yes, these cars aren't meant to be sold, but it shows us what Toyota wants to build and it shows us what they can build if they really want to. But let me know down below what you think of these two concept cars. Do you agree with the direction they are going? And do you like the things that they are able to build? I mean, this is a classic, the H2 concept is a classic car. And with this hydrogen technology, they are able to preserve everything. It will still have its original 4AG engine, still have the same sound, same feeling, everything. It's just not going to run on gasoline. But let me know what you think down below. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I've got many more car related stuff. So if you like cars, this is the place to be. Just go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?
You don't 